What is up everybody, I am Get Flanked and I've got a big announcement for you today. I am now officially sponsored by Predator Gaming and as somebody who's been using Predator products for the last few years, I am really excited about this. So what does this mean? Well, I'm gonna be getting early access to some of the Predator products and I'm gonna be able to try them out and then show them to you guys. And I'm really excited about that. That's something that uh, I think is gonna be really fun to do. And uh, the first thing that I got early access to is this laptop that you're seeing right here. This is the 2021 Predator Helios 500. And I've been using this now for a couple weeks. Uh, Predator asked me to put together a short two minute video that uh, they used in the official product launch of this laptop. And I'm gonna show that to you in just a second. But uh, after this video is over, stick around. I'm gonna tell you exactly what it's like to play Siege on this laptop and give you a little bit more detailed information uh, than what you're gonna get in this two minute video. And of course, I wanna let you know uh, this video is sponsored by Predator Gaming. So with that said, let me show you this video now. We'll go over the details of the Predator Helios 500 and then we'll get into how it feels to play Siege on it. Over the past week, I've been testing out the new 2021 Predator Helios 500 to see what it's actually capable of. I decided the best way to try it out was to dare down my everyday desktop PC setup and instead use the Helios in its place to see if it could keep up with my needs as a gamer and content creator for a whole week. So let's start with the most important test for any gaming laptop. Can you actually game on it comfortably? The first thing that jumped out to me as I started using the Helios was the keyboard. With the Helios 500, I didn't feel the need to use a separate keyboard on a laptop if I'm going to play seriously. I think a big reason why is the keyboard features MagTech mechanical linear switches that allow you to switch out the standard keys with MagForce keys and racing key sets provided with the laptop. So you'll be able to adjust the actuation point on those keys depending on how you play. There's also a large flat area where my wrist naturally wants to rest that adds to my comfort level. This laptop also has the most advanced RGB lighting system I've seen. Three RGB light bars on the sides that spill out onto the table and an optic fiber light strip on the back that lights up the wall. There's enough lighting on board to set up an entire mood room. The keyboard is also part of the Predator Pulsar lighting system. So it has modes like audio sync, which is quite cool when playing music or watching movies, and mimic, which is basically the keyboard sync that displays light patterns. Another big factor that goes into being able to play and be comfortable on a laptop is how effectively it can cool itself. This is where I really feel the entire Predator lineup defines itself. The fifth generation Aeroblade 3D fans, Vortex Flow, and Power Gem technology work together to keep the laptop cool even in long gaming sessions. Now for the hardest test. Is it possible that I can actually get a professional stream from a laptop? In order to find out, I set up my stream with all the same settings that I normally run both in-game and in OBS. I used the HDMI output on the Helios to run a second monitor so I could keep an eye on performance and chat. Before going live, I hit the turbo button on the laptop in order to get the max performance. What I found was that the Helios was able to output a 1080p 60fps stream while also keeping me at a consistent and healthy frame rate in Rainbow Six Siege. I streamed for over an hour and never had an issue with overheating or being uncomfortable, even though I was pushing the laptop to its limits. Having the peace of mind that I'll be able to perform at my highest level in game and as a content creator, even when I'm not at home and on my normal setup is a great feeling. Let me show you everything that the Helios 500 comes with out of the box. Obviously you have the laptop itself, which has a really aggressive design. Just from looking at this machine, you know that it means business. One thing I do want to point out right now is that as you can see on the bottom label, the actual laptop that they sent me is a sort of prototype. This means that there will be some slight differences between this and the actual Helios 500 that gets released. When I asked about what the differences would be, they were mostly cosmetic things like some LED lights here and there. Next up is in these little black cases, you actually get two sets of MagForce keys that you can switch out with the default WASD keys on the keyboard. The Helios 500 also comes with two power supply plugins as well. This is because of how powerful both the processor and the GPU is in the laptop and is your first clue as to just how powerful this laptop is overall. All right, so now you know the details about the Predator Helios 500. What's it like to actually play Siege on it? Let's hop in game right now and find out. 
All right, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that little segment there. It was an honor to be a part of the Helios launch. Definitely something that I'll never forget. For the remainder of this video, the gameplay you're going to be seeing in the background was all captured using the Helios 500. And uh, yeah, you know the specs of it now since uh, I went over most of that in the two-minute video there. But I want to kind of go over, like, I want to emphasize a few things here and talk about what it's like to actually play Siege on. Because that's what I did the most on it was just play Siege. And the first thing I want to talk about is the screen, okay? So it's a 17 point three inch screen 360 hertz uh yes 360 hertz uh absolutely insane um the 17.3 inches is actually big enough to play siege on and i made the mistake with my previous laptop of going smaller with the screen and it works for like uh rts games and like maybe even like dota like i can play on it but when it comes to playing a first person shooter on it i've never felt comfortable on it i just think it's too small 17.3 inches is is like the perfect size when it comes to being able to still play an fps on it but also still be able to you know allow it to be portable so that's like the first thing that stuck out to me as like a huge improvement over my previous laptop. And uh, the first thing that I want to talk to you guys about, the next thing that really blew me away, and no pun intended, is the cooling system uh, with, within the, the, the Helios 500. Again, whenever I go back to my previous laptop, it would get hot to like the touch when playing on it for like an hour. If I really was pushing it, it would get hot, like the fan blew right out onto the mouse pad. So like you could feel how hot the air was coming out of it. The actual like case uh, would get hot. I mean, I'm not saying it's gonna like burn you, but I'm saying like, if you grab it, you're like, wow, that's that's really warm. And with this, the air that even comes out of it after an hour, two hours, is still like not even that warm, to be honest with you. It's like body temperature, basically air. And that really surprised me because I mean, this one's getting a lot more frames than my previous laptop. It's it's working a lot harder, but it does such a good job at cooling it that you never really notice that. And, and honestly, that really surprised me. As far as what's actually going on inside the laptop to keep it that cool, a couple of things that I would mention. First of all, the fifth gen AeroBlade technology. The fact is those fans move a lot more air than your typical laptop fan. And when you're moving more air, you're gonna keep things cooler. The other thing is the power gem technology. Any of the laptops that have the i9 are going to have the power gem, which is a different type of like thermal pad that the processor uh, incorporates. And it has about four times the heat conduction of copper. So you add those two things together and you end up with a laptop that stays very cool. Last thing I want to mention, and I mentioned this in the shorter video there that you watched, but I think it's worth mentioning again because, it, again, it's just such a big deal, is that the keyboard is actually comfortable on this laptop. Uh, I didn't feel the need to plug in a different keyboard. Uh, and I really think that the way that they, they have it placed and the the flat surface that allows your wrist to rest right there as well as the keys themselves as well as the flexibility to switch the keys out is a really big factor in having a laptop that not only you know can run a game but is actually comfortable to play on and it's not just siege that the laptop works well with i played valorant on it as well as a couple other games and every time it worked out well. I got good frames in Valorant. Uh, the game ran well on it. Uh, everything was comfortable as far as the keyboard and everything. Uh, screen and graphics, everything looked great. Uh, so yeah, everything that I threw at the laptop, it handled really well. All right, so there's everything you need to know about the Predator Helios 500. I actually walked away really impressed with this machine. Can't wait to use it a little bit more. So guys, thank you for tuning in. Uh, thanks Predator Gaming for sponsoring this video. Keep your eyes on the channel for more Predator Gaming content down the line. I'm really looking forward to doing more stuff like this. And as always, if you enjoyed, please make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.